Christy. We're here at the 2014 NPC Optimum Championships here in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm here with Robert, who just came off the stage, went in first place in Masters Over 50 and Masters Over 60 Division. Congratulations, Robert. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. How did you get into bodybuilding? Uh, I've been bodybuilding for almost 27, 28 years. Uh, I played a lot of ball when I quit doing that. I started competing in bodybuilding, and it's just a, the competition that keeps me going. I, I just can't quit now. It's in my blood. So tell us about how you assess yourself from show to show. Do you change things? Do you keep things the same? Uh, I used to, when I was younger, I would, I'd always bulk up, you know, up to around 260 and then come back down to 224, 225 to compete. But in the last few years, as my age is uh, kind of catching up with me a little bit, it's harder for me to get lean. So I've been staying on the diet for the last two years with just one cheat meal a week and then staying really eating clean all year. So how do the diet changes uh, affect you as you age, like uh, diet-wise? Uh, it doesn't really affect me. I've got so used to it now. Like I said, I've been eating really clean for the last two years with one cheat meal a week. Uh, and it's just it's keeping me leaner. Uh, as, as everybody knows, uh, as the older you get, the harder it is to get lean and ripped. Uh, so I, I can't go up that heavy weight and come back down as easy. Uh, so I just stay on the diet all the time. So tell us about your weight training. Do you do heavy weight, light reps, or opposite? Um, pretty mediocre right now. I used to go real, real heavy uh, when, I was, when I was younger to build that mass with. So I've built the mass over the years. Now I'm just trying to stay injury free. So I stay, you know, still go pretty heavy. I still do my squats with maybe maybe 405 for reps, where I used to do 5, 550 for reps. So I've dropped that back down the last five or six years to try to keep from injuring my knees and my back. When was your last show this year in 2014? Uh, I just did the Europa. I won the Europa over 60. And also did the Ronnie Coleman. I won the over 60 in the Ronnie Coleman. So this is my third one this month. I'm getting a little tired now. <laughs> Well, you look great, Robert. Um, tell us what advice you would give to others your age that maybe think about competing but haven't done it done so yet. Um, you're never too old. You're never too old to start. Uh, I didn't compete my first show till I was 35, so um, uh, you're never too old to get started in this sport. That's one thing I like about it, and you can just continue to, to an older age, and it just makes your uh, quality of life much better. Uh, I just love bodybuilding. What, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you doing this day after day? I think because I own a gym, so I'm in the gym all the time. I'm a personal trainer, and that keeps me motivated, helping other people. But the competition part is uh, uh, the doing the competition is what keeps me motivated, keeps me focused. When I have a goal to shoot for, when I have a goal to shoot for, to strive for, that keeps me on that diet. So if I'm not doing that, it's a little bit harder to focus on that. So do you plan on competing again this year? Um, I was thinking about going back to Masters Nationals. I've been there the last two years. Uh, and I was thinking about going back there. I'm not for sure yet, uh, but I've been pretty well these last, uh, these last three shows. So I'm thinking about giving that a try again. I'll have to wait and see. Good luck, Robert. Congratulations again. All right, thank you very much.